Welcome WCC fans to Inside the WCC March Madness Edition. Continuing our look at the WCC teams in the basketball postseason, with us today is St. Mary's Junior Center, Omar Samhan. Welcome, Omar. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, first off, congratulations on a great season and making the postseason. Well, thank you very much. A lot of people had you guys in the NCAA tournament. Um, I'm sure there was some dis- disappointment in not being selected. Uh, sometimes that can lead to teams coming out a little flat, um, but you guys seemed to do the opposite and came out strong in the win over Washington State. How were you guys able to get motivated for that game? Well, you know, we, we were one of those. Uh, we were definitely thought we were in the NCAA tournament. So uh, when we found out we weren't, it was uh, you know it was devastating. But uh, Coach Bennett talked a lot about how important it was to turn the page and move on, and that we're fortunate enough to still be playing at this time of the year. You know, so uh, we kind of take it as a challenge. You know, the fact that uh, the committee and a lot of people don't think that we're that good of a team, and that you know the WCC is not that great of a league. You know, mid major stuff like that. So we, we kind of see it as a challenge, and uh, definitely went out the other night and want to just just play hard and, and play our style of basketball so uh, the fact we didn't make the tournament almost motivates us more to, to, to play well now this year's uh, NIT field has been called one of the toughest if not the toughest field in tournament history uh, can you talk a little bit about the overall strength of the NIT field for those that might not understand just how difficult this tournament is and the quality teams that are in the field well NIT this year is great I mean like you said, it's the first time in a while that there's been so many good teams in it, uh, especially, you know, there's a bunch of the teams in it were ranked top 25 at, at one point or another in the year, you know, uh, us, you know, you got Georgetown, Baylor, uh, San Diego State, Auburn, there's, there's a lot of good schools from a lot of good leagues, you know, uh, of course, we're representing the WCC, which is my favorite league, but, uh, you know, the Pac-10's uh, shown there, Washington State, you know, SEC, uh, everybody, so it, it's a great, it's a great tournament this year, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of good teams left, uh, Miami, uh, ACC school, so it's a big-time tournament this year. Obviously, Mills is back and looked 100% in the game versus Washington State. Can you talk about what it means to the team to have him back and healthy and out on the court again? Oh, it's great. You know, not just for the team, but just for him. You know, he was, when his hand happened, he was, you know, so he was very sad, and, and it was hard on him, as well as the team, you know, but to have him back now... Uh, we're, we're lucky to have him, and he's happy to be back, and it's good to see, you know, good old Mills coming off screens, hitting threes, stuff like that. So uh, the the growing pains are gone, and, and we're we're back as a healthy team, and uh, it, was, it was great, you know, it was great to see him the other night, hit, knock out some shots, and uh, just be playing playing his style of basketball. It had been a few weeks since we had seen that, so uh, it's great for the team just because, you know, it's the confidence, and you know that if you need a big shot, Mills is more than willing to take it and hit it, so uh, it's definitely, definitely good. For, for all of us. Now, can you talk a little bit about your front court mate, uh, Diamond Simpson? You guys were, were one of the top rebounding tandems in the country this season. Uh, it seems like when you're when you're not grabbing the rebound, he's grabbing it. Um, is there a friendly competition going on between you guys, and just to see maybe who can grab the most rebounds? Uh, me and Diamond definitely have a competition going on, and uh, it's funny, you know. Sometimes I, I'll be wrestling the ball away from him in the game. <laughs> it's just for the two of us, you know. Uh, so we definitely push each other and try to try to top each other all the time, and uh, it's it's fun, you know. He's he's averaging a, a double double right now, so uh, he, he's beating me by by point seven. <laughs> so uh, it's it's a great it's great to have each other and to push each other and to you know that that confidence that you know we we try to beat other teams on the boards every night and uh, having diamonds a big part of that. Now, looking ahead to this Monday's matchup versus Davidson, um, it's obviously going to be one of the biggest matchups of the season. Uh, how much do you know about Davidson, and what are you guys going to need to do to slow down Stephen Curry? Uh, you know, I've watched Davidson uh, throughout the year. Um, Stephen Curry is a great player, uh, but you know, like you said, uh, he's he's you know thirty points a game almost, so he's definitely the biggest thing uh, in beating Davidson is slowing him down. So we got some good defenders. Wayne Hunter is a great defender, so. Uh, you know, it's hard. He, he scores 30 a game for a reason, so he's a good player, but uh, we just have to do our best to help and, and uh, make sure that the other guys don't, don't you know, uh, get off too. You know, make sure that if we are going to give stuff on Curry 30, we got to make sure that the other guys aren't scoring 20 here and there, stuff like that. So uh, it's a team effort. Guarding someone like that is definitely a team effort. Not one guy can do it, but uh, it's going to be a good challenge, and uh, it's going to be a great game, you know, especially two mid-majors going at it, and uh a lot of attention on this game. A lot of people want to see the matchups, so uh, it's going to be fun. 
in addition to trying to slow down Curry, uh, what are some other keys that you got that you see is um, for you guys to are going to need to do to be successful on Monday? Well, I think we're a lot bigger than that, um, especially inside uh, with you know our three, four, and five. So I think that a rebound is going to be a huge aspect, and, and just getting the inside game going, you know, with Diamond and me, stuff like that. Uh, their center's about six eight, so. It's going to be important to establish the inside game early, and of course, you know that our perimeter guys are going to have to knock down shots. And uh, you know, we're, we'll struggle to guard Curry and, and some of their guys, but I think they're going to struggle to guard us as well. So, uh, you know, Mills is pretty fast, <laughs> um, and we had a bunch of other good shooters and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I think that that's establishing the inside game and knocking down the open shot outside is going to be very important for us. Now, how much does it mean to be able to play these uh, first couple of rounds at the NIT at McKeon Pavilion and have the support of your fans? Oh, it's huge. It is priceless. You know, um, being able to play at home is such an advantage, especially our gym. is kind of small, and the students are rowdy, and it's great for, for home court advantage. You know, uh, the people on the road hate it. But, uh, you know, it, it's big, and, and we're fortunate enough to have it. And I think that, uh, you know, I think that, it makes everything, the road to New York, so much easier. You know, the only time we'll have to travel is if uh, we end up winning one day and San Diego State wins. That's the only time we'll have to travel besides New York. So I think it's a huge, huge help, and uh, we're fortunate enough to be in that situation. Well, thank you, Omar, for stopping by today and, uh, and joining us. Thanks for having me. That does it for this edition of Inside the WCC. WCCSports.com is your home for the latest news, videos, podcasts, and exclusive merchandise.